You heard Rachel talk about them being up 14 late mm -hmm. in regulation, but then Nate scored 12 straight points to pull the Bulls back. Mid-range game, off the dribble, between the legs, get fouled on the three, and then gets the crowd involved and is able to go to the line and drop three free throws. I mean, while he's bringing them back into the game. And then this is what I really like. It's like a short game, his pull-up over the seven-footer, and then he denies on defense. He's playing all facets of the game right now. He's totally, totally engaged. He's got his team locked in. Look at Thibodeau on the sideline. And now as he comes off the pick and roll, Great hits Boozer. Most guards in this situation, they pull up in the lane and they take the shot. They take the hero shot. Nate passes to the open man. And, you know, he just he just had a great game. And how big was this play right here out of the timeout? Baseline drive, baseline drift, going for the win at home. Yes, and, and the follow-up by Noah. I mean, you know, the baseline drive, baseline drift, you know, was a great play. And then the Nets got what they wanted here. Darren Williams got himself a shot. It just didn't go. And what a great play by Jimmy Butler on the offensive rebound. It's a great call, Vince, because a lot of guys give up on the play. You're so worried about boxing out and not letting your man get it. Jimmy Butler on this standing time and situation. So we had to overtime a 14-0 run. Eventually tied the game. We went to OT, and then it was Nate again. I mean, just going wild. They couldn't stop him. Darren's chasing him. Gets a little screen, and then back to Noah. Great interior passing. And, and Noah and Boozer definitely play well together. They pass the ball well inside, and, you know, they both can finish around the basket, and they never get up. This was a huge play by Joe Johnson. Covered, going left, tough shot, tough floater in the lane, game winner. I mean, he and Nate were battling the whole the whole fourth quarter in overtime. Joe came alive. He had six in the first overtime. He came alive, made some big shots, but some people say, Joe, why did you wait so long to get going? And then Nate, you he said it better. <laughs> I have confidence in myself. No matter what kind of shot it is, I believe I can make it. He banked it home. Do you believe it? It's a two-point lead, but then Joe Johnson again getting himself close and beating the buzzer to tie the game again. We're playing another overtime. Ice cold water in his veins. And, you know, this was two great coaching uh, performances, too, by Thibodeau and Carlissimo. At the end of the game, they were all getting good shots. Great giving, great pass right there. Again, the interior passing by those three is fantastic. Noah 15 in the game. Boozer 21 in the game. But there's that man again, Joe Johnson. And he hits. And he is fouled. But I say it again, guys. What takes you so long, Joe, to get engaged to the ball game? You shouldn't wait till this late in the game. Chicago with the one-point lead, and that was big. That's a sixth foul for Nate Robinson. He's out of the game, and a lot of people in Chicago had that kid's reaction, hands to the head. Yeah, and this is when you would think that Brooklyn would really take advantage of the situation, but Chicago kept battling, they kept fighting, and eventually they ended up winning the game, and they just found a way to win. But that's a great play by Lopez to block that shot, and now we head to a third overtime, and Nazi Muhammad gets himself involved. The old Chicago kid again. <laughs> Najee's got all the moves. He's a great rebounder, great interior player. You know, block shots right there, fights underneath. And, you know, it, it was a, a great game. And again, Boozer at the foul line. Mohammed comes in, gets the rebound. And that was the backbreaker right there. Najee Muhammad had eight points, or nine points rather, in the game. None bigger then right there and you can see Noah on the bench he had fouled out as well it became a war of attrition who would outlast the other and as it turns out Chicago had a little more fortitude in this game 142 134 in three overtimes 